nine games and being the MVP of the UAA Finals. Edwards' incredible summer influenced him to reclassify to the class of 2019. In his junior year, Edwards averaged 25 and 9, which helped him become the number two player in the country, according to 247 Sports, ultimately making it to the state championship, but lost. Edwards became a hot commodity to premier basketball programs such as Kentucky, North Carolina, and Kansas. He ultimately decided to commit to the University of Georgia to stay close to his family and watch his nephew, which is his sister's son, grow up. Edwards became Georgia's biggest recruit since Dominique Wilkins. At Georgia, Edwards led all freshmen in the nation in scoring, averaging 19.1 points a game. Although he was inefficient at times, he showed flashes of potentially becoming one of the most dynamic scorers on the planet. His coach Tom Crean, who coached Dwayne Wade and Victor Oladipo, said he's never had a player like Anthony Edwards. He impressed Tom Crean with his work ethic as he often would stay after games to continue working on his craft. Edwards' season was good enough for him to become one of the consensus top three prospects in the 2020 NBA Draft alongside James Wiseman and LaMelo Ball. In the 2020 NBA Draft, there was no consensus number one prospect. Whoever went number one was greatly influenced by which team held that number one spot. Ultimately, the Timberwolves won the lottery and viewed Edwards as the top available talent. They selected him number one overall to pair with Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell. The rest of Edwards' story is going to be greatly impacted by how he performs in his rookie season and beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. How good do you think Anthony Edwards is going to be? Is he a future superstar, all-star, starter, or will he be a bust? Let us know in the comments down below.